What's up guys, it's Tex here, and I was working on a different video when I came across this very interesting Facebook page. So this is a Zack Snyder hate page, and I see them all the time, it's no big deal. But then I started looking at these posts, and a lot of this shit's kinda weird. For starters, they have a really big hate boner for not only Zack Snyder, but Ezra Miller too. A lot of the hate actually predates the infamous video. And they're very big fans of the MCU, they make that very clear. And they share a lot of posts and articles and memes making fun of DC movies and Zack Snyder. Which really isn't nothing new, but I wanna show you what prompted me to make this video. So recently, Chadwick Bosman passed away he was the actor who played Black Panther, which is very tragic news, but this page just couldn't fucking help themselves. They decided to use this opportunity to take a dig at Ezra Miller again, and they said, and I quote, Damn, why couldn't it have been Ezra Miller? So they took the death of one actor and they wished upon another one. That's already kind of fucked up, but it gets worse when you start looking in the comments section. Someone said, or Snyder's daughter. Oh wait, if you weren't aware, Zack Snyder's daughter passed away. And then Hack Snyder, that's the uh, name of the page by the way, really clever, added to it with, or Snyder. And then from there it just gets fucking worse. Him alive with his daughter dead is better for me. He caused way too much destruction to just die with no suffering. He would trade all the success of his fake Snyder shitty ass cut make, or all his lick ass fans for his daughter back LMFAO. This wins my day every time I think about it. And then someone ends it with Snyder sacrifices his daughter. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. I like edgy jokes. I make edgy jokes, but what the fuck is this? This is actually really sick. You're wishing death upon an actor because they're not portraying a character the way you like? But what's even worse is using the death of a recent actor to do this. Making jokes about Zack Snyder's late daughter isn't funny. It's just pathetic. Now, I've seen a lot of Zack Snyder and DC haters in my day, but none as batshit crazy as these guys. But it doesn't stop there. Heck, Snyder decided to share this little meme. One of them has to raise your daughter. Thanos. Kills daughter. Destroys half the Marvel Universe. Zack Snyder. Destroys all DC Universe. Daughter kills self. Who do you choose? I've never seen someone dislike a director so much. To the point where they're making fun of the passing of their loved ones. Keep in mind, Zack Snyder makes movies. Do they hate his movies so much that they feel the need to make fun of his late daughter? Also, Hack Snyder posted this little rant about Jews. More specifically, Jews in the Snyderverse. Isn't it funny how all the worst casting in the Snyderverse, aka the worst Lex Luthor, worst Wonder Woman, and worst Flash of all time are all Jews? I don't like where this is going. They go on to explain that they're not saying that Jews can't play non-Jew characters. And then they list a couple examples. And then they go on to say that the difference between a Snyder vs. Jew casting and someone like Chris Pine is that Pine can actually morph themselves into a character and become the characters accurately, but the Snyder vs. Jews cannot do that. The Snyder vs. Jews castings are so terrible they have to turn the characters into themselves since they cannot become the characters, and therein lies the problem. Now to me, it seems like he's just complaining about the casting, but for some reason he feels the need to mention that they're Jewish. Why does it matter? And then there's this little gem right at the end. Also, anyone who does not believe Jews control slash run Hollywood and the media is either dishonest or just not paying attention at this point. It's interesting. In the beginning, you say it's fine if Jews play non-Jewish characters and have a whole section where you mention a bunch of good Jewish voice actors and actors that are in DC movies, but then you end it by saying the Snyder first Jew casting is terrible, feeling the need to mention that they're Jewish for some reason, and then you end it by saying Jews control Hollywood and the media. So you clearly have a problem with Jews. This whole middle section of your rant was just there to try to hide that. If your problem is with the Snyderverse casting just to complain about the actors. I mean, you complain about Ezra Miller enough. Why do you feel the need to mention that they're Jewish? And that you believe the Jews run Hollywood and the media? That just seems like irrelevant information if you don't like the actors. Now at the very top of the page, he has a pinned post talking about the Snyder Cut. And he makes a giant list of demands. And he says that if any of this stuff is in the Snyder Cut, then the movie is still going to be shit. Now I was going to go through this entire post and address each one of these points. But after looking through his page, I decided, golly, he's just so fucking unlikable that I just don't want to waste my time doing it. And people say that the Zack Snyder fandom is toxic? Look at this shit. So Hack Snyder, your pathetic waste of space, and go fuck yourself. You should really kill yourself. Everybody else, thanks for watching.